Hey guys, welcome to SSUD Tech, choosing this side and this is continuation of SSIS project. So this is part 7 of SSIS project. So before going forward, if you haven't watched the before uploaded projects, so I would strongly recommend to watch all those videos. So for that you can go on the YouTube and after that you can search for SSUD Tech, then you can go inside the channel. After that you can go in the playlist. So inside the playlist you will see this playlist for the SSIS project. So you can play and here I have uploaded total 6 projects. So you can watch all these videos and do the practice on your own. Now go to on the today's project. So in this project we are going to load the data from Excel file to the SQL Server tables. And source will have multiple Excel files. So we need to load the data according to the file names. So if your file name contains the date which will be Monday, Wednesday or Friday, then data should be loaded into the customer table. If that will contain Tuesday, Thursday or Saturday, then data should be uploaded into the address table. So what does it mean? Go to on the source and we'll check about the file name. So here go to the source. So as you could see the source, so your source file contain the timestamp along with your file name. So that you could see like 2021 1025, then 2020 11026. So 15 as you could see, 15 will be having Monday, 26 will be going to have Tuesday, then 27 will be having Wednesday. So 25 should be contain the information of the customer table and 26 will be having the information for the address. So accordingly we need to load the data into the SQL Server table and inside the destination we are having these two tables where data should be loaded. So this is our requirement based on the file name where we are having the timestamp data should be loaded into the tables. So how we can do that? So for that here inside the SSDT first we need to loop through all the excel files those are available inside that folder. So here we can drag and drop for each loop container and it should be going to use as file enumerator. So we can double click on this. Here go to on the corrections and inside the collection inside the enumerator we should be going to use file enumerator. Next we need to specify the folder path from where we are going to loop through. So this is our folder path. We can copy this and we can paste it here like this. After that we want to get all the files those are available inside this folder. After that we want to have this fully qualified path. So it will be having your folder path with the file name and extension. So this option we are going to use. Next go to on the variable mapping. So we want to have a variable that should be your file path. So we can add a new variable and let me call this as file path and the data type that should be a string. Let me click on OK. Index 0 should be OK and we can click on OK. So we have configured this for each loop container. So now we are having a variable and that variable will have the folder path with the file name. So let me copy any default value for this and go back to the SSDT and paste it here. Now we should be going to extract this timestamp from this file path. So let me add a new variable and let me call this as file name data type that should be string. Here we can go on this expression. So we need to write the expression. So first let me drag and drop this file path. Now first we want to reverse this in the order. So it will be going to reverse this string. So let me use the reverse function and evaluate it. 
so everything is reversed now we want to get the values before this underscore so everything which is available before this so how we can do that so for this we need to use the left function we want to get it from this string that we have reversed then we need to use the find string so this function will be going to check about any character and will return the location of that character so again we need to use the reverse function then we need to use this file path put comma what we want to check we want to check this underscore then put comma one then we can close this bracket let me try to evaluate this so it is having an error let me recheck about this so left function reverse is completed so one bracket should be closed here now we can evaluate so everything looks good one thing we don't want this underscore so we can use minus one right here now next we want to replace this with a blank which is x s l x so that we want to replace so let me use this replace function so replace from this string what we want to replace so that we have x s l x dot with the blank so let me evaluate it so everything looks good now we want to reverse this so reverse this in the order so evaluate it so we have extracted the time stamp part only from that folder path so that part is done let me click on ok next we will be going to use a execute sql task so what execute sql task does it will take this input of this variable and will be going to return the week of day so what does it mean for example it will be having 2021 1025 so it will take as an input parameter and in the output it will be going to return as monday so this we need to create a store procedure and that store procedure will be taking this input parameter and will return the output so go to the sql server and here let me try to write the store procedure so create proc sp get date as an input we are going to take date and this is where care 20 as begin and so first let me declare a variable this variable with the where care 20 in this variable we need to set at the rate dt so what we are trying to do we are trying to make this input as proper date so as you could see first four is year then next two will be month and last two will be date so here let me going to have the year first so left from this date put comma four so this is the year plus dash then plus let me use the substring substring function from this date now starting position will be fifth because first four is the year and next two character we want so this is for month then dash and last for the date so we can use the write function write from this date and two so this at the rate dt will be having a proper date now we can use the select and let me get the date name and we want day of week 
as an interval so we can use week day let me put comma from this dt and let me call this as date now execute this stop procedure and let me check this so we can execute as an input let me have 2020 1025 so this will return monday so as you could see it is returning monday so everything looks good let me copy this go back to the ssdt go to on the execute sql task here let me create a connection with any one of the database so here we have already made the connection with the destination so i am going to use the same now in the sql statement we can write the execute of this with the question mark let me click on ok now go to on the parameter mapping so inside the parameter mapping we will be going to add a parameter so this parameter should be file name data type that should be where care and this should be zero go to here and this sp will be going to return one result set so instead of the none it should be single row go to on the result set click on add and here let me create a new variable so this variable will hold the day so let me call this as day click on ok this should be zero so what it means so this is your input parameter of the stop procedure so that will be going to take this date and in the output parameter this monday so this monday will be in the result set of this day let me click on ok so we have done with this execute sql task so this execute sql task will return day of week now we need to use two data flow tasks so first data flow task for the customer and second data flow task should be for address so let me rename this as customer and this should be address let me connect with this execute sql task and with this execute sql task so here we need to check in this precedence constant with the expression and constant so for the customer as we could see so customer if monday wednesday and friday so let me add this expression for this day if this day value is equals to monday or this day value is equals to wednesday or this day value is friday it is returning an error due to double equals to here now it looks good click on ok again ok so this precedence constant is checking if your execute sql task will be returning either monday wednesday or friday so this data flow task of this customer will be executing let me check for the others so instead of constant it should be expression and constant go to here let me drag and drop this day this should be equals to tuesday or thursday or this day is equals to saturday now we can evaluate and check so it looks good click on ok again ok 
so we have done with the precedence constant now let me configure about this data flow task so let me double click on this customer here our source is excel file so we can drag and drop this excel source and we need to load the data into the sql server table so only db destination will be the destination let me double click on this excel source click on new browse in the source select the first one because monday is the customer and this is monday click on open click on ok here we can select this go to the columns click on ok let me connect this with the oladb destination double click on this and we need to load the data into customer table go to the mapping click on ok so everything looks good now let me configure about this address so this excel connection manager for the customer so let me rename this first with the customer now again we need to get the data from the excel source and loading that into the sql server destination so double click on this excel source click on new browse this time this should be address so i have selected for tuesday click on open click on ok need to select this seat go to the columns click on ok connect this excel source with the destination double click on this select this address so mapping got succeed click on ok so done with the mapping as well so here as you could see we have configured everything but this is for static so every time it will be going to refer the same excel file and load the data from that file so we need to make the dynamic as per the file loop container so go to on the connection manager and go to the properties and go to the expression so here we have a property which is excel file path so this excel file path should come from this file path and click on okay again okay now go to on the address side here again for excel file path this excel file path should come from this file path variable click on okay again okay so here we should have a property that is delay validation so this should be true for these two connection managers so everything looks good but here as you could see it is having an error so we can right click go to the variable and instead of this 25 let me make this as 26 now double click on this double click on that so looks good click on ok so everything looks good so now we can execute this package and data should be loaded into these two tables which is customer and address table as of now we don't have any data in this let me try to execute it so once we have started execution so it is reflecting an error due to this customer click on ok here we are having the problem so let me go on this package level and try to on this delay validation option let me try to execute it now so package is executed first time second time third time so it got executed successfully stop this package go to here let me try to execute it data is inserted successfully on these tables so i hope you have understand how you can design this project if you have still any doubt then you can drop your questions in the comment box i will try to respond over there 
and if you have any scenario or any project then you can share with me or drop in the comment box so i will try to record the video on that scenario and project thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video with new project